Recently, my laptop battery died. Uh, it's a lithium ion HP laptop uh, battery. So I went and online and got another battery to replace it. Now this original battery, the HP battery, is a lithium ion battery. So I made sure that I got a replacement lithium ion battery. Okay? And physically, if you look at the two of them, they're identical. There's just no difference between the two of them other than a few of the labels. But physically, they're, they're exactly the same. Um, this one, the HP battery, says right on it. I'll bring it up to you here. Get it into focus. Come on, focus there. Lithium ion, right? There. See that? So, and the replacement says the same thing, lithium ion. But this is not a lithium ion battery. I'll show you today how to check to see if you actually got a lithium ion battery or a nickel metal hydride. This one is actually a nickel metal hydride battery. Um, even though it's labeled as, as a lithium ion battery, it is actually not. Now there's differences between the two chemistries. Lithium ion batteries have next to zero memory on them. So you can charge them halfway, discharge them, charge them full way, discharge them halfway. It doesn't matter. They'll just keep on charging until they stop charging, until there's no more charge uh, rechargeability left in them. Nickel metal hydride batteries have uh, a, a more of a memory uh, effect on, on the recharge system. In other words, they'll if you charge them halfway all the time and discharge them all the way, eventually they'll only charge halfway. So you have to be more careful with these batteries. It's much better with these batteries to with nickel metal hydride batteries to charge them all the way up and then recharge them all the way down. Now, why would somebody want to send me a lithium ion labeled battery that's actually nickel metal hydride? Because nickel metal hydride is much cheaper than uh, lithium ion batteries. So, I'm uh, talking to the, the, the reseller that sent me this battery. I've actually sent them an email. Uh, advising them because they may not be aware that they're doing what they're doing but I'm going to show you how to check your battery to make sure the chemistry inside the battery is what's labeled on the outside first thing you need to do is go over to your start button a Windows button type in CMD Charlie Michael Delta and then you'll see that the CMD EXE program shows up at the top. Now we need to run that as administrator. In order to do that, you just right click it, choose run as administrator. Then it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Just say yes to that question. Boom. Your command prompt comes up. Now here we're going to type in CD space C colon backslash. What that will do is change this from where we are right now which is Windows System 32 to just the C root directory. The um, reason I'm doing that is because it's easier to handle the file when it's in a uh, common place anybody can access it. Okay, So what this program does is it creates a, a, a web, an HTML document with all your battery in information in it including the chemistry that's internally into that in that battery. So um, next we type in the command to make that happen which is power cfg space uh, dash or slash uh, actually it's a dash and then energy and once you have that in there just hit enter and it takes 60 seconds as it observes your system behavior checks your battery out checks all sorts of things out um, basically if you want to find out what the internal chemistry of your battery is, uh, you'll find out. This will tell you, regardless of what the sticker on your battery says. Mine says it's a lithium ion, but when I ran this test, it comes up as a uh, nickel metal hydride. Now, I'm currently running this test on the original battery that came with my HP laptop, which, as you can see down here, is nearly toast. Um, it says here, there's a problem with your battery, so your computer might shut down suddenly. So, in other words, 
consider replacing your battery. So it, basically this battery's toast and that's why I went and got a new one. Now I thought I was buy, uh, buying a lithium ion battery. I actually got one that's labeled as lithi lithium ion, but it's not. I'll wait for this to finish here and I'll show you the results of that. Okay, analyze the trace data that tells you it's almost finished. Okay, so there it says C, uh, C colon backslash energy dash report dot HTML for, for more details. Okay, so that, that's what we're going to do next. So we'll go down to the Windows button, Start button, Computer, and then we're going to go to C Drive. In my case, was going to scroll down to the bottom. There's the Energy Report HTML. Double click on that. Okay, there's all the uh, information if you want to read it. I really don't care here. Um, it, uh, here it says battery last full charge. It says the sign capacity 47520 uh, here, as you can see, and last full charge was 10368. So it's 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 a fourth of what it should be. It's it's basically done. So let's go down a little further, and there you'll see battery information right there. Hewlett Packard is the battery ID manufacturer. Hewlett Packard, lithium ion, and as it said before, 47520 is the full design capacity, and the last full charge only went up to 10368. That's how you know your battery's toast, but it's also how you know what the chemistry is right there. It's a lithium ion. Okay, so now I'm going to reboot, put the new battery into it. You have to reboot for the system to, to read the new battery correctly. Okay, and then we're going to run this test again. So we shut the computer completely down, or the laptop completely down, took the old battery out, put the new one in, and rebooted. After which, we're going to run the same test we ran on the old bat battery, but this time on the new battery. So you go to the Start button or the Windows button. Uh, again, type in CMD. As you'll see, the programs will come up. Right-click that. Choose Run as Administrator. Say yes to the question that pops up. And we'll be in C Windows. Uh, backslash system 32 so again cd space c colon backslash now you're at the c drive and here we're going to type in power cfg space dash energy and then we're going to hit enter and 60 seconds it's going to go through observing the power and everything about this okay so here we're going to show you the battery and this one actually says 32% available, plugged in and charging. And no warnings at all. Okay. So, you know, it's a good thing. But unfortunately, I ordered a lithium ion battery. And I found out through using this test that I have a nickel metal hydride battery. I also uh, confirmed this in my on this same laptop using Ubuntu. It gave me the, gave me the same result, results. It said, hey you have a nickel metal hydride battery. So if you buy a battery, make sure you run this test on it to uh, A, find out whether it's a nickel metal hydride or li lithium ion battery that you got and if that jives with what you ordered and B, just to see what the charging um, parameters are going to be. In other words, let's, let's see how high it's going to go in, in charge and how much is available. Okay, so uh, again, you can see it created an energy uh, C colon backslash energy report dot HTML. So we'll go back to your Windows button, start button. Then we're going to go to computer, then the C drive, and I'm going to scroll down. Uh, there's the energy report dot HTML. Double click that, which will open the browser. There's my browser. Let's sc scroll down to Actually, we'll go up here and see. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the battery. So let's go down to the battery itself. So, battery information. Right there. Battery ID, Hewlett Packard. Manufacturer, Hewlett Packard. Serial number, blah. Chemistry, NIMH. Okay, that's short for nickel metal hydride. Okay. Um, design capacity. 
it says 47,520, last full charge, 48,38. So the battery's good. It's a good, solid, strong battery, but it's not the chemistry I ordered. I ordered lithium, uh, a lithium ion chemistry battery. So even though the battery in, on the case itself says lithium ion, it actually is not. It's a nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, differences being, of course, uh, the memory. Um, Nickel metal hydride is more susceptible to memory charging. In other words, if you half charge it, three quarter charge it all the time, eventually that's all you're going to get into it. Uh, where the lithium ion batteries is, uh, what, from what I've been told, uh, impervious to that. You can charge it halfway, three quarters of the way, uh, or a quarter of the way all the time, and it doesn't matter. It, it, you know, it doesn't affect the charging capacity of the battery. Okay. That's how you check to see whether you've got, uh, well, actually, how you check the chemistry on your uh, laptop battery. Thanks for watching.